Hello everyone and welcome back to this Let's Play of Fallout New Vegas. Today we are going to be facing off against Mobius as part of the Old World Blues DLC. So this is the maddening voice inside our heads and has been since the beginning of this um, DLC. So let's talk to him. Yo! Hello there! Uh, you are there, aren't you? Forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. Uh, you seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? Uh, it's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. So Mobius is uh, not looking well. Um, let's see. Is that better? Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. <laughs> That's old age for you. Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. <laughs> the flying tortoises ooh, were the worst. Would you care for a mentat? He's gone completely crazy. Okay. Um. I'll save it for later. <sighs> I love Mentats. Delicious and smarty. I have all sorts of amazingly science-terrific thoughts and ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my biogel. I forget them all not long after, though. Especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations. Although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. Yeah, Mobius has gone crazy. Uh, you are you weren't exactly what I was expecting. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. Um. Okay, why did you steal my brain? Oh, a variety of reasons. You're something of a homily. The uh, anomaly? Uh, you're really quite special, and not in the cranially challenged way. You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well, your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. Okay, um, I want my brain so I can leave. Now, that seems to be rather hormonal of you. Flight or fight response, you know. Hard to cut that out completely. Your brain is here, safe with me. We chat over mentats. Uh, okay, I need my brain back. Do you? You seem fine without it. And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent, has all manner of opinions. Tell you what, I'll leave it up to your brain. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. He cannot be serious. Wow, another 1400 experience. Okay. Um. Okay, time for me to go. Indeed. The, uh, goodbye part of our little chat, then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. Huh. So, is there gonna be no fight with Mobius? Interesting. Not really sure what's gonna happen now. But, uh, yeah, let's go talk to my brain. Brain, I guess. Is that the brain time? That is loud. That's my brain. That is my actual brain. That is crazy. Yeah, you know we got a screenshot of this. 
This is so cool. Okay, let's talk to my brain. Well, well, look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been? Hmm? Crawling through bits of radioactive muck again? Are you my brain? Ah, lovely. Figured that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? <laughs> Why are you such a dick? <laughs> um, yeah. Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a quote, dick, unquote, as if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus-infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Think I enjoy that little moment? Of course you're responsible, you're my brain. I most certainly am not. I'm the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone, do you know where those come from? Glands. They come from glands. Free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system, I can see how foolish your motives are. Okay. But you're the source of most... Uh, but you're the source of most of those glands. Unless you're arguing that my thyroid is to blame. I... Well... Look, it's all a very complex system of biofeedback and other things I wouldn't expect you to understand. Okay, um, admit it, you're as glandular as I am. Oh, alright. Perhaps I am, but at least I'm logical about it. Okay, uh, don't you want to be reunited? I thought you'd be happy to get back in my head. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, but what about the good things? What about the cool breeze on your cheek, the smell of food, love? Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. Ah, okay, so I won't pass the speech check. Um, let's see, so what? You'd rather just stay here and never leaving that tank of whatever that stuff is? Well, certainly there might be some things I miss about being ambulatory. We have seen some incredible sights, haven't we? Jason Bright and his followers launching into the vast unknown. But still, given the tremendous, potentially life-ending peril that went along with those, yes, yes, I'd rather stay here. Okay, um... Well, if you like being stuck in there so much, maybe I'll just leave Oh, you. no! Please, don't leave me here in this nice, safe dome where I have access to nutritive fluids and a fully indexed library. Please don't deprive me of being dragged through a landscape so bleak it was actually improved by the end of the world. I don't know how I could bear it. So he's being sarcastic. Um, so this doesn't make any sense because... Your brain, like, who is controlling me at the minute? Like, the way I understood it was my brain was in a tank, and I was my brain controlling the body that was lobotomized. So, where's my consciousness coming from? Um. Okay, what would happen to me if I left you there? Hmm, let me see. I suppose you'd continue on much as you are now using that synthetic thinking machine to do the heavy lifting. Unless, of course, the batteries run out. But that seems unlikely. Okay. Um, look what happened to the think tank. Do you want to end up like them after a few hundred years? It's true. The brains here have experienced some degree of 
deterioration, I'm confident that with a few decades of work, I can solve the problem. Um, okay. Never mind, I want to talk about something else. Of course you do. How scintillating. Um, how the hell did Mobius get hold of my brain? After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. Dr. Mobius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. How did he manage that? I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. Well, it seems like a pretty unlikely coincidence. Hardly. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on at the think tank. As soon as he saw the opportunity, he took it. Okay, well, that answers that onto something else. Well, as long as your curiosity is satisfied. Yeah, this is too weird. I'll be back later. Barring the unlikely event that I evolve some sort of rocket-propelled locomotion, I will be here. Hmm. So how do I get my brain back? Ah, the meat has re... Um... I, I want my brain back. Um, can I make a fair compromise? If you want me back, we need to establish some ground rules. First, showers! Second, regular checkups. Regular, mind you, and from a reputable doctor. That Julie Farkas woman, for example, she seems to know a thing or two. Third, you need to listen to me more than your hormonal choir and genitalian orchestra. Promise me that, and you've got a deal. Okay, fine, you've got a deal. Really? Hm. I didn't expect you to actually agree to that. I'm afraid that was a bit of a bluff, really. I'm not going with you. What? Okay, um... So how do I get my brain back? Ooh, crawl back in there? Are you mad? I don't know where you've been. For all I know, you're riddled with disease or packing one of those delightful head wounds you seem to attract. I'm not crawling back into your head just to ooze right back out again. I don't recall giving you a choice, let's go. Um, let's see, uh, I promise I'll take better care of myself. Even if I believe you, and I'm not saying I do, we still have one significant problem we're facing. Even if I wanted to settle myself back in your skull and go to all the trouble of reconnecting nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. Why? They promised to put us back together once they did what I wanted. And you believe them? Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. Huh. What's so bad about letting the brains get out? They don't seem that terrible. Don't seem so bad. They vivisected us just to see what would happen. Have you forgotten the lobotomites? The cyber dogs, I assume you saw those. Imagine that kind of science spread across the entire Mojave. Every man, woman, and child we've met reduced to a lobotomite. Is that what you want? No. No, I really... That doesn't really seem like something I want. Then let's go make them share. Come on, Brian, it's stomping time. Oh, lovely. We've reached the mindless violence portion of the program. Tell me, what exactly are you, and I use the word loosely, planning. Uh, let's see, uh, what can I do here? Guns, I'm going to give them a demonstration of physics behind small fast moving chunks of lead. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do miss that lovely rat -a -tat boom a bit. It's just not the same without a body to feel the recoil. What's the next step then? Let's see, if the think tank won't hold up the bargain, we'll make them.
Yeah. Right. Look out, Think Tank. This brain is coming out of its jar. I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the Think Tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sync's auto dock can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. Found. So, did I just get my brain back? Cool, that's pretty cool. Um, I actually don't really want my restored functionality because I think that the upgrades I've been given are actually pretty decent. Dr. Mobius' glove, that's pretty cool. I don't know what that does. Let's have a look at Dr. Mobius' glove. Um, where is it? Where is it? Health regeneration and endurance plus one. That's pretty sweet. I do so love integers. Yeah. Okay. So apparently that doesn't regenerate health over time. Or does it? My current health is 189. And let's look now. And it's still 189. Okay. I don't know exactly what that does. Um. So it looks like... I now have to retrieve the Sync's Auto Dock Personality Holotape. Uh, that is optional. I actually think that um, I don't really want to lose all of the upgrades I've been given here. Um, and for that reason, I think I'll probably won't bother doing that. Because the upgrades I've been given actually are really beneficial. So I think we won't be doing that. Uh, I don't really know if once I go back outside I'm going to be slowed down or not. I will first of all have some purified water. Are we being watched? I actually don't know. And I don't know if the robots are still going to attack me or not either. Um, really not sure. But yeah, that was Dr. Mobius, and I'm hoping that they won't attack me anymore. They, m they probably won't, actually. Dr. Mobius seems uh, pretty, pretty calm with me now. I really don't think he even knows who I am, to be honest. Um, it doesn't really seem like he knew he'd been attacking me. He doesn't really seem altogether there, so to speak. But let's head back and hopefully his scorpions won't attack me anymore. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Uh, I'm not going to hang around and test that theory. We are going to travel back to the sink. The lobotomites will probably attack me. But here we are back at the balcony. And like I say, I'm probably not going to get my other body parts back. I don't think I need them. Um, probably better off without them, really. So let's head through to the think tank. And Dr. Kleiner waits. Make sure you're prepared to finish this once and for all. Ah. Okay, right. So this is what I was expecting. A big... Might I be of service, sir? Yes, absolutely. Well, I think there's going to actually be a big fight this time. And it's going to be against Dr. Klein, of all people. So we are going to leave it there for today. just want to thank you all very much for watching. I'm hoping that next time we'll finally get out of Big Mountain. And back into the Mojave Wasteland. But I'm not really sure what's going to happen. But thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Leave any comments if you do have any. And I will see you all next time. Take care.